thing about pain is it's the loudest emotion that we have and it's the one that we avoid the most but the difference about pain is it demands to be felt now and when we live in a society that is so against any type of negative emotion we make an enemy of our pain and instead of feeling it and allowing that pain to pass we hold on to it we resist it we clench in the moment of impact allowing it to penetrate our DNA leaving traumatic imprints and when we leave those imprints thinking that by our avoidance of it that it no longer exists we not just suffer in our own life we actually pass that suffering down through our DNA So what you resist and suppress and hold on to, what you do not complete, ultimately, you're giving it to your children and your children's children. It's time that we woke up to this fact that if something happens that doesn't feel good it doesn't mean that you can tell yourself that it didn't exist or that you don't need to feel it now because you put a hold on the natural flow of your body get in the way of your body's own natural mechanisms to discharge negative energy, to complete trauma cycles. See, the thing about trauma is we make everything in our lives about the trauma that has happened to us or the families that we got stuck with. But trauma is not the problem it's what we do thereafter that's causing all of our ailments it's that clench on impact and then that avoidant detachment thinking that if we make ourselves somehow numb or if we pop out of our body and therefore we don't feel it that it means that we survived it we are done with it no because that pain didn't happen for no reason pain is not a punishment that's what we need to understand pain doesn't does not just happen randomly to random people at random times for no reason. Get over this concept because it's a lie. Pain only happens to come and teach us something, to force us to go in another direction. Because humans are creatures of habit, they will stay stuck in a life that is less than satisfying and they won't do anything and they'll forget why they came here and they'll get trapped down by their pain and it doesn't benefit expansion it doesn't serve a purpose and I think that 
as humans, we try to conceptualize of what the purpose of life is, and we make it so complicated. We take these basic things and we make them so complex. It's really simple. The purpose of this life is expansion. It's learning. It's growing. It's experiencing. It's connecting. It's coming from oneness where you are one with all that is to choose down into this beautiful life where you have a physical body where you can experience all of the senses you can taste, you can touch, you can smell and you have no idea from your human perspective how incredibly amazing that is because you've forgotten this life, this life is a gift. You are lucky to have your human body, to have the ability to see and smell and taste all of the beauty and all of the wonder around you that you have forgotten exists because you are so trapped and blinded by your pain. doing that to you. Your resistance to experiencing the fullness going towards it instead of against it is what is holding you there. While you keep asking what if and you wish and I hope you continue to perpetuate exactly the discomfort that you are trying to avoid. For a moment, put your ego and your fear aside, and instead of resisting and fighting for this life in pain every single day because something horrible happened to you in the past, and you think that because you're running away from it, then that is avoiding it. Isn't it funny the tricks we play on ourselves? Turn around. Release. Stop clenching. Do you know what that's doing to your body? You're taking that pain. And now you're making it into thickness, into density. why you have physical pain. Your body's not against you. It's only trying to help you get what you want. You just forgot because you conceptualize that this reality is being difference of perception, we come together and we see the whole. But by staying stuck in our pain, not able to see the ground below us, anything in front of our feet, you will stay stuck.
for any other possibility. It's not about making things complicated or coming up with a magical invention that is going to cure the planet and save the world. No. It's about remembering your divinity. Remembering why you came here and not making it into a complex conceptualization of a reality that is really just an illusion. You came from oneness. You chose to have an experience here in a physical body that was a gift because not every not every stream of consciousness will get to have a physical manifestation you are lucky but because you take that pill and you forget who you are mother's womb, still filling the oneness and connection, that when you tap into it now, you can feel it flowing through every single cell in your body as your body starts to tingle everywhere, and source reminds you of who you are. This reality that we live in is a very dense reality to our skin when we are born it feels super painful and it's so cold and we are not used to senses we are not used to all of these feelings and it scares the shit out of us let's just be honest and then all of a sudden you have this illusion physical body that is separate from your mother and you forget and you fear and you buy in to the illusion and you stay stuck in the pain that you first felt the day you were born that scared the shit out of you that caused you to clench and not experience what was actually happening and go through that initial feeling. Because once you go through it, once you go through it, that's when you're done with it. That's when it can complete. That's when you hit the ground instead of falling your entire life. You finally hit the ground and not in a devastation kind of way, but in a release, in a surrender, in a through feeling that feels like, finally. Finally, your energy is not being shot off into the universe to go to nothing, leaving you tired and feeling like you're running in a wheel, in a hamster wheel, going roundy, roundy, not getting anywhere. Step out of that wheel. See it for what it is. I invite you to try for one day, just one day, suspend your ability to feel fear for one day. Pack all your fear up put it in a suitcase and let me hold on to it. At the end of that one day, if you want it back, I will be more than happy to give it back to you. But I've never had anybody ever ask me for it back. When a fearful thought comes up, 
Don't reject it, deny it, disown it, like you've been doing with your negative emotions. But instead, acknowledge it. Acknowledge it for what it is that your subconscious mind is trying to keep you safe. And it thinks by worrying and having fear that it will somehow keep you safe. Because somewhere in your childhood, you were punished and you felt that feeling for the first time and you decided the only way that you could survive that ever again is if you make sure that you were the person to punish yourself, to shame yourself, to tell yourself you're a bad boy or girl that you got shamed and punished for. Haven't you paid a high enough price holding on to your pain? Holding on to all of these emotional blocks, these projections, that energetic debris that just doesn't belong to you. It belongs to other people. Other people's stress, other people's worry, other people's criticism. It doesn't belong to you. Until you go through and hit the bottom, turning to walk towards your pain instead of a running in your hamster wheel for your entire life stuck in that pain. Until you decide to be brave enough to go and surrender to it. You'll never experience the absolute beauty and fullness of this amazing reality. As I say that, I feel every single cell in my body tingling and I get goosebumps from head to toe as Source reminds me of who I am. You forget how amazing it is to touch a soft blanket or to run and play in the grass. bathe yourself in a beautiful waterfall, to see all the natural beauty around you, to smell a rose, you forget how amazing it is. So let me remind you, just stop, take a breath, take three deep breaths. driving with one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas because you're not getting anywhere. And then, see what happens. 
I hope you enjoyed this message. I'm Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. Feel free to contact me if you'd like to book a session. And keep connected. Kendra, DivinePurposeMentor.com